America, Pickleball, not making it up. It's popping up all over the area. So what is the game all about? Fox 43's Lori Snyder met up with a local association to find out. It's got some elements of tennis. Um, it's, it's a, you know, it's a paddle sport, so it's kind of like a ping pong. Throw in some parts of badminton and racquetball, and voila, you've got Pickleball, a sport that most people have never heard of, yet once they try it, they're hooked or speared. The main benefit for me, and I'm sure for most people, is uh, good exercise. Uh, we usually play, uh, we play here every day. Do you get a pretty good workout out there? <laughs> Can't you tell from the sweat? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Besides getting a good workout, the players relish the social aspect of the game. One of the things I've also liked is getting to meet a lot of new people. And you, every week there's people you haven't met, and you get to know them and talk to them. You could see people coming out and everybody slapping hands and you know, high-fiving or tapping paddles when they're done playing. It's just fun. You know, there's a lot of laughing and giggling out here when we play. Of course, the obvious question, why is it called pickleball? There's uh, two theories on that. The widely accepted one is that the people who invented it have a dog, had a dog named Pickles who would chase the ball and carry the ball, so they named it after him. One of the women who um, started the game actually said that wasn't true, and that in crewing, the last boat is the collection of people who are a random assortment of people, and that's the pickle boat. Well, since the game was like a random assortment of different sports, they called it pickleball. The dink lands in the kitchen, and sometimes you have to be in the kitchen to hit the dink. Wait, what did he just say? Okay, let's start with dinking. It's not a new invention. You see it in tennis and racquetball all the time but pickleballers have turned it into an art form. You could say it's their bread and butter shop. It's a strategic part of the game where you, you dink the ball back and forth over the net softly in order to set up your opponent to hit like a smash so you can win the point. There's also a part of the court called the no volley zone or the kitchen. So you'll hear people say, you know, you were in the kitchen, your foot was on the kitchen line. You'll hear phrases like everything but the kitchen dink. Like many things in life, good sportsmanship is essential because nobody likes a sour pickle. In your county, Lori Snyder, Fox 43 Sports. All of a sudden, I feel like I need to be cooking right now. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do that. Good sportsmanship. I'd be like, not you would be, not be sour. Out, you'd be out. <laughs> you know, at my gym, they have pickleball. It's very popular. It really is. It's picking up a lot of people. Really love it. Yeah. All right. So we're going to have some warm up. Warmer week. air. Get through tomorrow. Tomorrow, shower.